The end of 2020 is a date that many people are looking forward to, but it's also a deadline that's been set for Airbnb hosts to register their homes or their rooms if they want to continue to operate in 2021. With just two weeks left to go, the number of places that have signed up is surprisingly smaller than expected. For those looking to rent out their homes for a short stay, once lockdowns are eventually lifted in the new year, the countdown is on. In fact, the need to register properties listed by companies like Airbnb with City Hall has been expected for months. There's no official grace period. It's January 1st, but we work with the, the companies and they have agreed to remove those who aren't, who don't have the unique uh, Toronto, City of Toronto number. So it's, it's, it's accountability on the platform side as well to, uh, to not have those registered. To date, the city has only received a little more than 2,300 short-term rental registrations. Airbnb has more than 23,500 listings in Toronto. It amounts to just 10% of the properties on that platform alone. City officials say the lower number may be due to fewer hosts willing to rent out their homes during the pandemic. But open source data shows nearly half of Airbnb listings have year-round availability, and that doesn't include other rental sites. It remains to be seen what Airbnb does on January 8th. If they are true to their word and deactivate and block all these listings with no registration numbers, I'm sure those hosts will be um, reaching out to the city very quickly to um, get everything set up. Airbnb is the only platform that has officially received a license from the city, while officials are working with two others at this point. If hosts fail to register, the fines set out by the city start at $1,000 for both the operator and the company with the listing. We're going to have to be doing our own due diligence to make sure that people aren't uh, you know, advertising when they shouldn't be. So it's, it's going to be a, a process. Uh, we'll be working at it closely. Regulations set out by the city in September only allows people to rent out their primary residence in order to help eliminate so-called ghost hotels and force more long-term rentals. City News did reach out to Airbnb on its plans for comment and hasn't received a response. All it takes to sign up with the city is $50, a driver's license or piece of ID, and an emergency contact. Just 550 hosts have signed up in the last couple of weeks.